dogs don't hit on money unless there's some sort of substance that they're trained to hit on. And that tells me that that money was somehow associated with the drugs. Some relationship, some physical contact. You had indicated to me, Mr. Blunt, that the $34,409 was not from gambling. Yes, sir. And I can put myself in a position where I did accept this, this person's friendship. And I mean, I'm not sitting here trying to make an excuse for what I did, but I do feel like he took advantage of like a situation where, where I was vulnerable and I made a bad decision, and I am sorry for it. I think that was all the issues that I had. I am going to do what I think is right and what I think is just, not only to Mr. Blount, but also to the people of this county. But I do note that 30 pounds, or the, almost 30 pounds, is a lot of marijuana. And while Mr. Blunt has said that he was just going to, him and his friends were going to smoke it, have a party. It's a lot of marijuana. Um, I was thinking, you know, Cheech and Chong would have a hard time <coughs> smoking that much. I know that you've done some wonderful things in your life. You've supported your family. As I said, you obtained your college degree, participated in charitable causes throughout your uh, adult life. I don't believe that you and your friends are going to, as you say, kick it and smoke all this dope. What you did in your, as a career is of no import to why we're here today. So on count one, uh, it will be a sentence to this court that you received one year in the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections. You'll pay costs, $5,000 mandatory fine, three-year license suspension. On count two, you're going to get community control for up to five years. You'll be fined a $5,000 mandatory fine. You'll pay costs of prosecution, as you will in count one. You have a three-year operator's license suspension concurrent with count one, effective today. You'll have drug and alcohol monitoring, drug treatment and counseling as needed. And you're going to do 250 hours of community service. And you're going to be doing your community service specifically towards juveniles, youths, children, teenagers, about the dangers of drugs. No matter what you say, people look up to certain people. Whether you like it or not, that's part of the game. 